guys, I'm here with Stassi today and we're doing another bow haul from one of my favorite dog bow providers, Doggy Bow Ties. So as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I've been getting some orders in that I placed many months ago and it's finally my time to get my orders in uh, from Doggy Bow Ties and I'm so excited to bring you guys another bow haul. So we got quite a few new bows in and I can't wait to share with you guys. All right, so the first ones that I'm gonna show you is the ones that she actually has in right now. These are the tiny ties. And as you can see, I use these for pigtails and they look so cute in pigtails. I love um, that they are um, just perfect size for the pigtails. And I will try and focus in on the ones that she has in. This is like a green gingham. And then it has some pink and greens in the inside, uh, like little flowers, and they are just adorable. All right, so when I buy the tiny ties, I always buy two at a time because um, I use these mainly for pigtails, but you can use them as single top knots. But when you're ordering, if you wanna use them as pigtails, you will have to order two. Now, Lynn's website, doggybowties.com, is closed at the moment, but she will be opening soon again. Uh, she had closed for several months to get caught up on all of her orders, and I think she is getting close to that point. So she said that within a month or two, she will probably be opening up again so keep an eye out for that um, because I'm sure once she opens she will be getting um, a backlog of orders again because she is that popular her dog bows are very high quality they're always like very stiff and she has the cutest designs right now if you notice uh, Stasi's hair kind of looking a little crazy it's because I just have these bows set with one top knot I don't have it doubled so you can see in the back we don't have the a second top knot like holding them in so I hope when she shakes she doesn't uh, fling the bows all over the room and the reason why I did this is because as soon as I finish filming this video I am gonna let her and Harper play and when they are playing I have to put um, I have to take Stasi's bows out because Harper will get the bows out of her hair and I don't like that <laughs> at all. So they're just kind of sitting in there, but I wanted to show you guys how cute they look in pigtails. All right, so let's get on to the bow haul. All right, if you've um, seen my grooming desk tour before, you might notice that this is a little bit different. I did buy another Muji five drawer um, storage container. These are very inexpensive and their website is now open. So you can go to Muji, um, I think it's MujiOnline.com, but I will leave the link in the description box below in case you are wanting um, one of these storage uh, units. They are very, very um, perfect actually, not very, very perfect, but they are perfect for storing the bows because they're nice and um, they're not very deep and so they work out perfectly for, for bow storage. I have the five drawer sitting on top of this two drawer and I have her harness bows in the bottom of the two drawer. Um, but then these are the ones that I have for um, her bows. And then over here, you can see that we were getting quite full and so that's why I bought a second five drawer unit. And that's two five drawers stacked on top of each other over here. All right, so let's do this drawer first. And I will show you the goodies that we got. All right, the first bow is from her pet line, and this is a petite size bow. And Stasi is about 10 and a half, like 10.6 pounds, so I guess that's 10 and a half pounds. She is too big for the full size show bows. So Lynn, who is the owner and designer of doggybowties.com, just sizes these down to the petite full size, which is a better size for her. So this one is a pretty gingham, and it is, as you can see, the blue gingham and the pink gingham, and then the ribbon in the center has like little stars and like a little rosebud in the center. 
sorry about my nail that's missing. <laughs> uh, I guess this was not a great time to film this video, but um, I am going to get that fixed tomorrow. So that's kind of yucky. <laughs> but oh well, we're keeping it real, right? Okay, the next one is a beautiful bling bling bow. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. How beautiful is this? Oh my goodness, lots of sparkle. And it has like a pink and white stripe center ribbon. And then we have lots of crystals to just make this shine. I love that. All right, the next two that I'm gonna show you are also from the pet line. And this one is just a pastel blue and pink and it's got the little bumblebees. And then it has the little crystals in the center with the little pearls. So cute. And then this one is very similar, except it's just a little bit bigger. And then it has like a blue flower in the center instead of the crystals. <laughs> Stassi's licking my hand. What are you doing? What are you doing licking mama's hand? <laughs> okay, so this is adorable as well. It's gonna be pretty for springtime. All right, the next one is an in-between size bow. And this is a pretty, let's see if I can put it over here. There we go. This is a pretty lavender and it has like flowers and then it's trimmed in gold with the beautiful stones in the center. The next one I absolutely love. This is her rainbow um, bows. And when I saw this, I had to have it because I just thought it was so pretty with the pastel colors in the peach and pink and blue and lavender and like a, a yellow and green. So just really pretty um, pastel rainbow colors with the crystals in the center. And I believe this is a petite full size bow. The next one is also a petite full size bow. And this one, as you can see, is like a hot pink it has the flowers in the center trimmed in gold with the beautiful purple stone or like a hot pink stone actually in the center. And then like I said, all of her bows are very stiff which makes them last long and just high quality. I love her bows. And then the last one in the petite full size that we got in this time is this beautiful lavender gingham. So that is very pretty. Now these I just order one because these would be used in a single top knot, obviously. All right, so that is that tray. The next tray that we have here is lots of tiny ties. And these are the ones I was showing you in the beginning. I do order pairs of these and they are perfect for piggies. The first one is for St. Patrick's Day, and it is the green four-leaf clovers. The next one is for Valentine's Day, or any day that you want to uh, wear hearts. I don't think that hearts are just for Valentine's Day, because hearts are pretty. So we can wear these all the time, but I love the red and white, and that looks really pretty on her. Next one is very cool. This is like sort of like a tie dye. So you can see it has like kind of rainbow colors, but it's more like, I think it's like a tie dye, I think. Oops, let's see, get it to focus. Let me pull my light, my light down a little bit, that might help. Pretty. 
Next we have a pretty yellow. Also good for springtime and for summertime. This has, oops, pretty flowers. And I kind of got some different colors this time because she has so much pink. Well, pink is our favorite color, but she needed some other colors too, of course. The next one here, she's already worn these, these we this week already. And this is like a pretty aqua blue and like green. Here we go. I love how she makes these little bitty bows on the tiny ties. I don't know how she does that. That, you know, and she makes all of these by hand, so I can only imagine how long it takes to make each one of these. All right, the next one is for Christmas, and this one is just a red and green, like little tiny dot. So she'll wear this for Christmas, around Christmas time. The next one is like a pink and black. So kind of um, has like a black gingham. And then it has the little pink with the little uh, flowers in that ribbon with the little pink gingham. I love gingham. As you can see, we got quite a few gingham. Okay, the next one is also for Christmas. And this is uh, red and green and it has like a kind of swirly design. Kind of looks like chevron, but I love this one. It's got a little bit of gold in it too. Pretty, pretty. All right. The next one is her Patriotic Tiny Ties. And they all have names, but I don't know the names to all of these. So hopefully you guys can find them once she opens up her shop for more orders. This is gonna be perfect for around July 4th. Um, also Memorial Day, Veterans Day, any of those kind of days we usually wear something patriotic. All right, and then, oops, I'm all fumbles today. This next one, I believe, is Easter eggs. Oops. Yep, little bitty Easter eggs, but you know what? You really can't tell that they're Easter eggs, so I think she can wear this anytime. It just looks like a, kind of like a design. Ooh, let's see. If I put it in front of her, it tends to focus a little more. But these are pretty colors, like a pretty blue and uh, lavender. And then we have the same design as what she has in right now, the light green and light pink, except this one is all the light pink. And it's got the light pink and then the little ribbon has the little light pink flowers. All right, this is our next tray here, and let's see what goodies we have in here. Let's see, I'll start in the back. All right, this one is pretty for summertime, and it's uh, got these flowers on the ribbon. Reminds me of like the 70s. How cute is that? Pinks and aquas and yellows. So happy, this is a happy bow. Next up, we have something for Halloween. And this one has the spider webs with the orange and black. Halloween. Next, oh, I love this one. This is just like pastel 
colors, kind of like a patchwork. Actually, I think that was the name of this one. Like it's just a bunch of different gingham colors, like all in the pastel, or gingham pattern actually, in the pastel patchwork. Next, we have something from Mardi Gras. And this one is purple, green, and gold, which is our Mardi Gras colors. Mardi Gras just passed here, actually. It's cute. It's got a little silver running through it. Next thing we have here is like pink, with a bunch of different little hearts in all of the pastel colors. I love that. She can wear this any day for sure. So cute. I love bows. It's like crack to me. It's like, it's like bow crack. <laughs> All right, the next thing is something for fall. Look how cute, the little acorns and the, and the little uh, fall leaves. And it has like pretty um, orange, like a burnt orange color in the background. So pretty, that is perfect for fall. And then we have more pink and yellow. I like this combination. Just some daisies with the pink and the yellow and it just is so pretty. So happy. I think pink and yellow is like happy colors. Huh, Stassi? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're so pretty. You're a pretty girl. She's falling asleep on us. She's like, hurry up, I wanna go play with Harper. You wanna play with Harper? Oh, in just a minute. Okay, the next one is also a fall bow, and this is little turkeys. So the center ribbon has like little turkeys, and then it has the pretty um, burnt orange color, perfect for fall and Thanksgiving. So this is adorable. So we're gonna be set this year for holidays for sure. And then the last one in this um, drawer is little Easter bunnies. So this is like a pretty silver gray and pink little Easter bunnies. How cute is that? Adorable. This is a unique color combination. I love pink and gray. So it's very pretty. All right, and the last two bows that we got are her little butterfly bows. And look how adorable. These are the full size butterfly bows. And I just got two of these. So we have the pink and then we have like a lavender. I definitely wanna get more of these. Um, I wasn't sure how I was gonna like these so I only ordered two pairs of these, but I really like them. They are adorable. And this looks really good in pigtails. So as soon as Lynn opens up her shop again, I'll be ordering more, because this is a collection for me. You know, I don't really collect many things. I do collect um, Disney Brito pieces. But other than that, um, I, th I don't think I collect anything else. So my bows are my collection. And I absolutely love buying her bows. And she looks so cute in them, don't you think? I think she looks adorable. All right, so that concludes this video with her crazy looking hair today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And check out Lynn's website, doggybowties.com, and keep an eye out for when she will be opening up for new orders. I'm sure that she will be announcing this on Facebook as well. She does have a Facebook page and she is absolutely wonderful to work with. It is definitely well worth the wait. We ordered these bows many, many months ago and I've just been waiting patiently to get them in and sure enough, my time has come and so my orders have been trickling in and I like to share with you guys um, all of my goodies that we've been getting. 
All right, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, please leave any comments in the box below. I will leave the links that I mentioned earlier in the description box below. And we hope you um, have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. Stassi, I want to tell everybody bye-bye. Say bye, friends. Hi guys, I'm here with Stassi today and we are doing another bow haul from one of my favorite um, dog bow providers by Doggy Bow Ties. Stassi. Stassi. Look, you want a treat? You want a treat? bow haul from one of my favorite doggy bow ties. <laughs> Shit! <laughs>